Yes, sir, Bob. Here we are with chapter seven, lesson number seven, functions from graphs. Sometimes if we are very, very lucky, we will be given a graph just like this. And what we will have to do is we'll have to work backwards and come up with the polynomial. So we'll have to get the equation of that graph. Now to do that, what you want to do is you want to look at it and you want to see where it's crossing the x axis here at A, here at B, and here at C. Oh yes. So you can say then that it has roots at A, B, and C, or x equals A, x equals B, and x equals C. If you know the roots, you can then easily get the factors. You could rearrange that so you've got x minus A equals 0, x minus B equals 0, and x minus C equals 0, meaning then the factors would be x minus A, x minus B, and x minus C. Just remember, if you were going backwards, if you had to factorise a quadratic, if you were solving it and you got down to x minus a, x minus b, you would set each bracket equal to zero and you would say, well, if x minus a equals zero, then x would equal a. And if x minus b was equal to zero, x would equal b. So this is just us just reversing that and putting it back into brackets. From there then, you know the equation of the polynomial will be of the form f of x, which is your function, and it will look like x minus a, x minus b, and x minus c. However, you will also have a number, a constant, in front of that. And what this constant does is it changes the steepness of the graph. Really, the roots are always going to stay as a, b, and c, but it's the steepness that can change. You could have it going through those values there, but you could have something that's a bit steeper, or you could have something that's a bit shallower, but it's still going through A, B, and C. So this value of K is going to change the steepness, and you can work out the value of K if you know A, B, C, and some other point. So if you know point D, you can substitute them all in, and you can work out that value of K. Let's try a few examples of that then. So, example number one. Given the graph of f of x, find its equation. So, we'll start off with this quadratic here. We can see that it's crossing the x-axis at negative 3 and 2. So, we can see that f of x equals 0. As I said, that just means it's crossing the x-axis. The y value is equal to 0 when x is negative 3 and when x is 2. Rearranging this, if I add 3 to both sides, I'd have x add 3 equals 0. Or if I take 2 from both sides, I've got x minus 2 equals 0. From there then, that means that x plus 3 and x minus 2 are going to be factors. Therefore, the equation of this funky wee graph is going to be f of x equals k times x plus 3 bracket x minus 2. Remember, the quadratic will pass through 2 and negative 3, but it's the steepness that will change. You may have it going something like that. And if you're given another point, we know this point is 0, negative 12, we can work out this value of k. So with this, you know the graph is passing through 0, negative 12. So when x is 0, y is negative 12. So we can sub that in to this equation. So f of 0 will be, replace x with 0, we've got k times 0 add 3 times 0 minus 2. And if you do that, you know that you will get negative 12. So from here, you can say that that's negative 6 times k, because 0 add 3 is just 3. 0 take 2 is negative 2. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. So negative 6k equals negative 12. Divide by negative 6, and k would equal 2. Therefore, the equation of our wee graph will be f of x equals 2 times x plus 3, bracket x minus 2. Also, you could take that stage further and you could multiply out the brackets. If you multiply them out, x times x, 3 times x, uh, multiply it all out, and then multiply every term by 2, you will end up with f of x equals 2x squared plus 2x minus 12. So just multiply out that the way you have been doing for years. Let's move on to another example. Example number 2. Again, given the graph of f of x, find its equation. So this time, that is our graph. 
First thing you want to look at is where it's crossing the x-axis. You can see this one is crossing the x-axis at negative 2, 1 and 5. So you know that f of x equals 0, in other words the value of y is 0, when x is negative 2, x is 1 and x is 5. So this is going to be the roots. To get the factors, what you can do is you could rearrange that, so you can say x plus 2 equals 0, x minus 1 equals 0, and x minus 5 equals 0. Therefore, your factors are going to be x plus 2, x minus 1, and x minus 5. So we've got these three factors, so now we need to get the equation. So because we've got three factors, we know that the equation is going to be f of x equals, again we've got this value of k, times x plus 2, x minus 1, x minus 5. We need some extra information to work out this value of k, so we need to look and see if we've got another point. Woo! We do have another point. We've got this point 0, 30. So we know when x is 0, y is 30, or f of x will be 30. So substitute that in, replace x with 0, replace y with 30, and we'd have k times 0 add 2, 0 take away 1, 0 take away 5 is 30. In other words, multiply that out, we've got 10k is 30, so k would equal 3. Therefore, the equation of this graph will be 3, we're replacing k with 3, so it's 3 times the x plus 2, x minus 1, x minus 5. Again, you could take this a stage further and multiply out the brackets. I'd probably multiply these two brackets out first of all, and then multiply them, whatever you get, by the x plus 2. Then multiply every term by 3. If you do that just the way you would have done in National 5, you'd end up with 3x cubed minus 12x squared minus 21x plus 30. And that is the equation. Yeah. Let's try one more. Example number 3. Find the equation of this graph once again. So this time, this is our graph. So we've got the point here, it's crossing the x-axis at negative 2, it's crossing the x-axis. Well, actually, it's not crossing the x-axis, it's going and it's touching the x-axis at 3, and then it's coming out of that again. So what we would say for this one is we'd say that it crosses the x-axis, in other words, the y value is equal to 0, when x equals negative 2, when x equals 3, but we'd have to put the 3 down again because the graph's going into the 3 and it's also coming out of the 3. So really that is known as a repeated root. So if it's ever not crossing it, if it's going into it and out of it again, you have to write it down twice. Again, we need our factors, so you need to rearrange this, so add 2 to both sides, so you can say that x plus 2 would equal 0. Subtract 3 there, you would say x minus 3 equals 0, and do the same thing with x equals 3 just on the end, x minus 3 equals 0 again. So your factors this time, we would have x plus 2, x minus 3, and x minus 3, so we've got three factors this time even though the graph is just touching the x-axis in two places. Remember, this is your repeated roots. So we need this one twice. Your equation then is going to be f of x equals, again, we've got this value of k. This value of k is going to change the steepness of the graph, so we need to write that down, and then the roots, the factors, are just going to be as they are. Look and see if we have any information. Woo! We do. We've got this point here. We've got 2, negative 2. So... You can replace x with 2, and that means you will get negative 2 out, because it's passing through that point. So at f of 2, replace x with 2, we'd have k times 2 add 2, 2 take away 3, and 2 take away 3, and that'll give us negative 2. Work that out, that'll give us 4, that gives us negative 1, negative 1, multiply them together, you just get 4, so it's 4 times k is negative 2. Divide both sides by 4, and you would get k as negative 1 half. Meaning then, if you replace that back in your equation, you will get f of x equals negative 1 half times just what we've got up here. k plus 2, k minus x plus 2, x minus 3, and x minus 3. Once again, just multiply that out. Probably multiply out two brackets together. Multiply them by the x plus 2, and then multiply every term by negative 1 half. Simplify it. 
and you will get f of x equals negative a half x cubed plus 2x squared plus 3 over 2x minus 9. And that is how you would get the equation from the graph. Try these questions on your own and see how you get on. It's exercise 7H. Good luck. Have fun with the graphs. I know you all love them. Woo! Graphs. Yeah.